Now, I want to look at intellectual property as a business solution. And I want to look at it very quickly. I hope I can use five or six minutes to do that. Um, and I want you to contemplate this phrase, rummaging through the rubble, realizing real rewards. Rummaging through the rubble, realizing real rewards. Very often, we take a lot that's around us for granted. So we decide to form a company because we are business people. Or let, let's put it in a more, in more forensic language. We decide to start a business. And we want to decide whether we are going to incorporate or we're going to register a business name or we're going to do none of the above and just do a thing. And we decide to give the business a name. So apart from the fact that giving the business a name that is not our own name and trading in that name and advertising and issuing business cards and so on is not acceptable under the law. Apart from that, we have another problem because we're taking the name that identifies our undertaking for granted. So we choose a name, any name, and we're working with it. And the business takes off and things are going well. And the advertising is happening. And then somebody gives us a call to say, you know, I want to do some business with you. But of course, you need to become regularized. So you call the company's office and you quickly, and because the company's office has become so much more efficient these days, so you know you can get a registration in almost no time. So you, you assure them, of course, I can make it happen. Because your name is out there, you know, it's been happening. Little did you know that somebody had registered that name already. And that they were also doing business, just not, just not obvious to you. Now we have a problem. Because what you have sent out, what you have been marketing, is a part of the identity of the product. Is a part of the identity of your business. So now you're going to have to change a whole heap of things, including the name of your business. But that's only one problem. Because it could be worse. You could have registered the name with the company's office and be doing very well. But you didn't think about the name too tough. You just chose an arbitrary name. I didn't do much about registering something called a trademark. And then you discover that in wanting to do business on a larger scale, particularly going overseas, or wanting to establish a website to do domain name stuff, to get all savvy on the web, you have a problem. Because that name is either not acceptable in the markets you want to go to, or somebody's already on the web with that name. Because you were not careful to investigate. And what's in a name? A lot is in a name. So that's the first thing, that's the first point, just the name. You don't even, we're not even addressing the issues of the substance of what you're selling yet. We're just dealing with names. And then you realize that a little phrase, a little two-word phrase called intellectual property is probably the most important phrase to your business. 